You know what time it is. It is what it is. Your boy Musa back at it again though. Today's video reaction is on um, Memphis dad slap his son for flexing with his gun on Facebook. And how do you guys feel about this? Tell me how you guys feel about this though. But before you do that though, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and click notification bell, and join the family. All is welcome. She loves. She support. Let's. Get it. Man, let him pull up. Whoever want to, hey, while y'all bullshitting, pull y'all tough ass up. I guarantee you I would beat the shit out. Hey, I don't want y'all. Pull up. I'm on it. What's that, Davis? Make sure at him. Do it. <laughs> Jeff, for that. Damn. Man, come here. Oh, snap. Yo, he just slapped the bejesus out of him. Damn, boy. His dad look like. <laughs> he been out in the street too, so he know what he's talking about, man. For real. And you, you, you know what I'm gonna say is, and I know in the comments that some of y'all gonna say it's child abuse. You know he's abusing this kid. Should have hit it a kid like that. But sometimes let's keep it 100. Sometimes these kids need the ass whoop. I'm gonna tell you that, man. When I was growing up, my I, my mom whooped my ass. She did discipline because I was out of pocket. You get what I'm saying? And that saved me. You could say me saying that tough love she gave me is what saved me. Because I didn't make stupid decisions. I didn't get myself in a situation like this. Because I thought I thought twice. Because I said, hold on. If I do this right now and my mother find out about it, I'm getting my ass whooped. I'm not one to ass whoop. So you know what I did? Keep my mouth shut. Stay out of trouble. You get what I'm saying? And y'all must say it's abuse, it's not, it's tough love. And for what he just did right now, he probably just saved that young man's life. You know what I'm saying? He saved his life. Because what the hell was he doing in the first place? Flashing his gun on Facebook or live just to be cool? That's crazy. Come help. Come on, quit playing with me. Come help. Him. This type of kid gonna get you fucked up. That's what I'm saying. These your friends, though. Your friend will get your ass beat. If you ever in your fucking life listen to one of them and raise your hand at me, bitch, I will bury you. And bury they dust asses too. And that's true. He'll bury you. We see these big ass dude. You seen that big damn hands age, man? You seen how it is, man? It's gleasy, man. Like, bruh. That that's slapping that's like slapping the bejesus out of you and bringing the Holy Ghost on you. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying because we understand, man, today's young men deserve, need tough love. You know what I'm saying? Because too much killing in the street. It's too much self-hate out here. It's too much some jealousy and envy situation out here, man. That's working through these kids' heart. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it needs to be slapped out. Literally. And um, we're losing too much young men, young black women out here, man. And... Him flashing his gun, man, ain't no different. Many kids doing that. And they think it's cool, but it's not, boy. You got to understand, the cops are watching. You feel me? The feds are watching. So and so forth. So it's like, bro, when you get yourself in a situation, you're already being stereotyped. So it's like, bro, then you want to ask yourself, why they look at me like, because you putting a picture out there, then you know ain't you. You know what I'm saying? This is a father's love right here, man. And I respect him for doing that because, trust me, there's a lot of family who don't have a father out there, right? To be talking down to them like this, to be disciplining them like this, and to be setting a structure or an example for them to follow. You get what I'm saying? So I congratulate his father at least showing some concern for his son because some father wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even be in the kid's life. So I respect that. Don't fucking play with me, David. This type of shit I'm talking about. These little boy, these little girl, gonna get the shit beat out you, boy. Facts. Play with me if you want to. You better choose your motherfucking friends wisely. That's facts. Right now, you bullshit, nigga. That's facts. Better tell them your dad is not the nigga to play with. I will bury them fucking bitches. I don't care about killing no fucking kids. You better tell them. That's facts. And you know what? That's how you're supposed to be talking to them because I'm going to say this. Because if you flashing your gun, right? And you accidentally 
shoot somebody by accident on one night. A gun goes over and so you hit somebody across the street or some one night, man. Do you think that same friend's gonna be there to support you? You think that same friend's gonna say, you know what, we would like to take one year off and do some time for you? No, they not. They gonna act like they don't even know you. They don't even know what happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at you, look around you. When you get into trouble, how many of your friends stick out with you? Or help you out to get you out of your situation you're in. None of them is there. Who You know who's there? Your family. Your mom or your pops. If your pops is in your life or your mom is in your life. They'll be right there with you. So sometimes you got to listen to your parents, man. You might think like they're not from this era. But on the day, they know best. They experience pure person. They experience a certain situation you're going through. Maybe in a different era, but it's the same situation. You gotta understand your problems in life does not uh it does not change, just changes form. But it's the same problem. So the same problem your parents or your grandparents was facing way, way back then in the 90s, the 80s, it just changed a whole appearance. You feel me? In front of you, it changes its own appearance, but it's the same problems. So sometimes advice that you take from your parents actually could help you to deal with your situation that you in. The reason why I'm, today's kids are so messed up in the head, making poor choices, because they're not listening to their parents. You know what I'm saying? Because they act like they know better. So this is a father who's shown concern for his child, man. And he has all rights to show it because he loves his child. And that's what you're supposed to do, setting examples, setting structure, discipline. You get what I'm saying? Having a communication with your child and showing how much you love him, but he's out here fucking up. Before they kill you or before they hurt you, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. We've been telling them for a quick motherfucking plan. This shit ain't no motherfucking joke. Fuck wrong with y'all kids. Don't get mad because y'all dust ass parents don't love y'all like I love mine. True, true, true. He's speaking all facts, man. Now what? Y'all know where he is. Pull up. Help. Come save. Since y'all can't mind. That's true. That's facts, man. That's facts. I'm going to say that again, man. Because, bro, man, sometimes, like, these kids, man, they bad kids, man. They out here following these kids and thinking, like, so cool to flash guns and this and that. And then you see, it makes you look cool in front of them girls, them pretty girls, and whatnot. No, it don't, man. It just make you look stupid, man. It make you look stupid. Because let's let's be real, man. If worse comes to worse, and you get in trouble, them people ain't there. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going to happen? You're going to get locked up, nigga. Your whole future's gone. So think before you make poor decisions like that. Because nobody care. To so everybody else, you don't look cool, look stupid. Because you know why we, we cheer you on? Because it look entertaining. That's it. Once it's done, we go home. You know what I'm saying? And we forget about your ass. So be careful who you have around in your circles and who you're trying to impress, man. Be careful with the poor decisions y'all be making out there, man. For real. But this is a father who loves his kid, man. I give all 100 res uh, respect to him for even standing up and speaking something or doing something, man. Cause this case would be stupid out here, man. But anyway, before I get out of here, man, if you guys enjoyed this video reaction, take a few seconds, subscribe, comment, like, and share, and click the notification bell, and join the family. All is welcome. Show you love. Show you support. Musu, out.